Hello, my cancer friends. It's Kristen Redman, and today we're going to go over the planetary aspects that are going to be making the largest impacts for you in this upcoming positive year of 2017. And 2017 has a lot in store for you in terms of career and a lot in terms of increase in happiness that you've been looking for and searching for and asking the universe for. Those types of things are coming through for you in this 2017. Okay. Especially with career. A lot of it's about career this year for you cancers. You've been working really hard to achieve your goals, to start working on where it is that makes you happiest. And this year the universe smiles on you. And it really starts bringing you some foundations for that long-term success. And your hard work really starts to pay off this year. And you get to get some recognition for all of the hard work that you have put in. Okay. Jupiter also this year is going to be bringing a lot of change and a lot of increase in happiness for you in terms of your uh, just general happiness overall, but also in your home as well and in your family. There's going to be some changes in dynamic that occur there, um, ultimately bringing you more happiness as Jupiter transits out of Libra and into Scorpio throughout this year. So let's get right to it, my Cancer friends. Let's start with the home because that is your domain, Cancers. You rule the fourth house, okay, in astrology. And the fourth house has to do with our physical home. It has to do with our family that lives in that home. It has to do with our family and our roots and our traditions of the past as well as our childhood. And it also has to do with mom <laughs> and our intuition. Those are all things that Cancer and its ruling planet, the moon, uh, emulate in the astrology wheel. All right. And this year, Jupiter, is it's the planet of luck and it expands things. It's bringing opportunity and hope and renewed uh, sense of optimism. That's what, that's what Jupiter does is it comes through with its giant planet self. And it takes 14 years to travel around the astrology wheel and back again to a certain spot. And starting 9-9 last year in September, Jupiter moved its little rays all the way through and it landed itself right in your sector of home and family. And that is where you shine the brightest, Cancers. You really do because your family means so much to you and your home. And and now Jupiter is coming through and it's giving this opportunity to really expand on that. So some of you Cancers may see that your family may be growing this year, whether it's by human or by animal. You may see that you have some additions coming to your family or expansion in that way. But it can also uh, act out in different ways as well, okay? Um, so this could be, it's always this way with astrology, it's either one side or the other, you got black or white, right, it's one extreme or the other, so we've got one end of the spectrum here, okay, for some cancers we've got this opportunity for this beautiful planet of Jupiter to come through and start balancing the scales, because that's what it does when it moves into Libra, it balances those scales, it's coming through and balancing the scales in that home, in the family, bringing happiness. And this could very well be one of the happiest domestic periods you've had in your home and in your life in well over 14 years. Because remember, it takes Jupiter 14 years to get all the way back around there. So you could expect some wonderful changes. You could expect that addition in a family. Whatever that is, wonderful changes can be afoot. All right. Now on the opposite side of it, okay, as astrology goes, some of you may find that you need to make a big decision or realize that a massive readjustment needs to happen in the home or in the family. Anything that's in terms of that living situation or in terms of that family relationship dynamic, you may see that um, there are some decisions that need to be made for that, for the happiness and the better good of everybody involved, especially as Pluto, the planet of transformations, squares up with that Jupiter, and that's going to happen on March 24th through April 2nd, and then again, the first week of August, okay? So look at the last week of March going into April, and then that very first week in August, expect there to be some sort of push that gets you to recognize what massive change needs to be happening, because Pluto is a planet of transformation, and sometimes it's a planet of endings, too. So what it may do is kind of force certain things to come through may force an argument to come through because Pluto also represents our power struggles and where we lose our power or how much we give it away too much or where we try to control others. That comes through Pluto as well. So expect that to kind of come through at that time frame. No matter what it is, there's a new confidence or a sense of optimism that can help you make these long-lasting or permanent changes in this area of family and home. All right? No matter what, 
ultimately because this is Jupiter coming through that family house, it's going to be bringing the best for everybody because that's Jupiter's main goal is to make sure that every single person involved is getting their scales balanced and that everything is fair and that everybody is happy. So that's what's happening for your family. Expense, expense, <laughs> I can't mix all my words together. Expect a sense of clarity to come through as to what exactly these changes may be um, come August, okay? Uh, as Jupiter and Saturn make a harmonious connection because that's going to bring some new stability and security that comes through. So you may be kind of in the clouds about things and throughout the course of the year you may be having issues or um, you may be wondering what do I need to do, what direction do I need to do. Wait until August, towards the end of August, okay, because that's going to be after this really powerful solar eclipse that we have. We'll get into that a little bit later, but that's going to help really bring that um, clarity as to what sense of action needs to be taken uh, in terms of that. So that's what we got going on for the home, Cancers. Now we're going to be... Oh, excuse me. Now we're going to be moving on to money. Money for the Cancers this year. And there is some interesting things that are going to be happening thanks to those eclipses. Eclipses represent new beginnings, okay? And the first of the series of eclipses happens February 10th, all right? And that's in Pisces. And what that does for you, my friends, is that rules your sector of finances. So expect some new beginnings, some changes happening in the world of finances for you. Plan to improve on your income, whether that's a better paying job, whether that's more money at work, whether that's more working hours that brings you more money, um, a side business that you may start or have that will finally be able to take off, um, or you maybe assign some sort of high profile client. Whatever it is, there's going to be an increase of money that comes to support you this year. And that's wonderful, especially if you're deciding to move uh, as Jupiter balances those scales and brings an expansion and opportunity in your fourth house of your physical home. Maybe you're thinking of remodeling. Maybe you're thinking of moving. Luckily, the universe is going to provide you money uh, to do so, to make those dreams happen. Uh, so, yeah, that's about money this year for y'all. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get into career here. Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? Let's just go right to career since we're in it and the relationship one's kind of that big. So, okay, so career-wise, you got Saturn, all right? That's the planet that my talking capabilities are quite terrible today. So you have Saturn, which is the planet that sets the structures in our life, okay? It's the one that builds those foundations and lays those foundations and it sets the rules and parameters and boundaries in our lives. And that's how we learn the greatest lessons in our lives, too, is Saturn and the restrictions that it places on us, the self-discipline that it teaches us to work hard to achieve what it is we want. So Saturn, where it may be sometimes making us wait 30 years to get something, ultimately it brings us luck through our own hard work and through our own self-actualization. Okay, Saturn and Uranus are going to be working together pretty well this year. And especially May 11th through the 25th and November 5th through the 14th. This is such a massive time frame for every zodiac uh, sign. It's bringing something interesting. And for you, my Cancer friends, this is for your career and for your life direction in general. All right. Um, I would expect in that time frame, May 11th to the 25th and November 5th through the 14th, that you're going to be putting in a lot longer hours at work. Okay. Because this is hitting you in your 10th house. And 10th uh, house has to do with your career, it has to do with your public uh, persona, your reputation. Um, and so you've got Saturn that's setting these boundaries and Uranus that brings you unexpected things. So there may be some issues that arise that cause you to have to stay at work longer. Saturn and Sagittarius creates this solid future for your business too. So I would anticipate that that's what you're going to be doing is having to put those foundations a little bit stronger into your work. And since 2014, as Saturn has transited through the sign of Sagittarius, it's kind of dominating this career sector in your house, uh, I see that you've probably been traveling more for work, uh, you've had to be speaking more for work, maybe you've had to go to seminars or do some online learning, some distance learning, or literally going back to school for your career, um, starting in 2014. That's when it really started coming down on you. Um, and which is helping you to kind of build this foundation for what it is career-wise you are working on. Now that Saturn is going to be leaving Sagittarius and moving into its home sign of Capricorn in December, 
it's like that hard work pays off. Remember, because Saturn's the one that makes you er, er, work hard and, and, and do all these things. As it moves into Capricorn, that's the career focus. That's where it's happiest, and that's where you will get that recognition, and you'll see the fruits of your labor from all that traveling and learning you've been doing over this time frame. So Uranus is that planet that brings some unexpected wonderful things, right? It can create chaos in the same sense, right? Especially as it's been opposing Jupiter. We talked a little bit about Jupiter a bit ago. Okay, Jupiter is that planet that brings us luck and it brings us opportunity, but it can also blow things up, all right? Giant planet that it is. And Jupiter and Uranus started opposing each other towards the end of the year last year in December in 2016. And when that happens, it kind of wants to break down the old rules all right, and it wants to set new rules for the future and new structures. And sometimes it does it in the most unexpected ways uh, that we don't anticipate. Sometimes we just get ourselves so comfortable in the boundaries that we're at that we can't grow anymore. And Jupiter wants to grow us. So sometimes Uranus comes along in this opposition period that happens once every 15 to 20 years. And it pushes us outside of that comfort zone so we can grow with what our soul is intended to do, right? This energy, that Jupiter and Uranus opposition, uh, especially is going to be strong for you come the end of this year as well. And that work-life balance is really going to be on those opposing ends. you got work here and life here, and they're both trying to blow each other up, and it creates some maybe chaos in your life. Uh, life may feel like it's in flux, <laughs> exploring different opportunities and just options for the future in general because... Jupiter's come along, my wonderful Cancer friends, and it's pushing you outside of your comfort zone. And in that process, it may have you questioning the direction that you're headed in life. And um, you may be inclined, I would say, to make some sort of totally radical decision. Uh that most people would look and say, well, that's not very Cancer-like. That's not very you, my Cancer friend. Um, especially in terms of your career or public image or your reputation, because that's in that 10th house where all this is happening at. You may do something that's just not normal <laughs> for you. And it's a wild but totally right for you decision. I will say that right now, okay, my Cancer friends, because you are... One of the most intuitive of the water signs. You are ruled by the moon, and the moon is our intuition. And you have to trust what your intuition tells you to do. All right? Because it may be a totally wild decision. It may be a totally right for you decision that needs to be made. Um, and anything that's possible is you worry less about following the rules and those standards that everybody else has set for you. And you start embracing the best version of you because that's ultimately what's happening here is Jupiter and Uranus oppose each other it's evolving you into this new version of yourself that you've been working so hard the past few years to build so not only do we have that situation going on okay with Jupiter and Uranus creating some interesting things you have Venus going retrograde this year too and I always say that 2017 is the year of Venus okay because we have Jupiter transiting through Libra Throughout this year, balancing the scales and relationships, Libra is uh, ruled by the planet of Venus, and Venus doesn't go retrograde every year. Venus and Mars, they don't retrograde every year like the other planets do, and so it's about every three years that this happens, and when it does, it's really a chance for us, as in any planet, when it goes retrograde, to look back at what that planet exudes, the energy it exudes, and it gives us a chance to look back in our own life on what that energy that planet carries. So with Venus, that's going to be love and money. Okay, And so you're going to find this Venus retrogrades March 4th through April 15th. It's a 40-day period. Think, and it's like literally during the time of Lent. So this is going to be a really good time for you to look back on your past actions and decisions and structures and foundations that are around you concerning you. Anything that has to do with your love and your romance and your relationships and your money. Okay, because that's what Venus is. So a lot of questioning about what makes you happy is going to be happening in that time frame. That's what you're going to be really looking to the past about. What is it that makes me, the Cancer, happy? Where are my satisfaction levels at when it comes to how I make my money, how I earn this money, how I spend this money, uh, how do I need to restructure that? What brings me happiness in these relationships? 
what brings me satisfaction in these relationships and what direction is this going. That's what we think of in that time frame. Now, I want to tell you, my little friends, um, this is a time for stepping back and reviewing the plans um, for the future. Okay, this is an eight year cycle that's happening for you. Something triggered this for you eight years ago that really had you going back, looking at how you structure your finances, how you are in your relationships, what it is that you want in your relationships. Something happened eight years ago. And this year, it's, this year, this cycle ends and it's coming back asking you, what did you decide, Cancer? How do you want to change this? You know, what do you want? Because we're here to bring it to you now. So you're going to have a lot of second chances that come through as Mercury goes direct after tax day there on the 15th. Uh, but this is what we need to do. We need to review those things and then we need to start thinking of acting on them because they're ultimately going to be bringing you better happiness right after that. Don't make those decisions during that 48 days though. I will tell you that right now because in that time frame is when they say when Venus is retrograde, don't get married, don't start a new relationship, don't take out a loan. Don't do those things. It's the time for reflecting and thinking and reviewing, not acting, because things just tend to fall apart in that time. So don't do it. Don't do it. We want to be happy this year, and that's exactly what Jupiter is bringing you this year. As it transits into Scorpio, 1010. Easy one to remember, right? And when that happens, this is creating a 14-year cycle now where it's done everything it needs to in the home, creating those changes in the home over this past year. Then it hits your fifth house where that's all about anything that makes you happy, okay, Cancer? I feel that's been downplayed quite a bit. What is it that makes you happy? Now this year, Jupiter wants to balance the scales in that area for you. So you are going to find that this is a new cycle of hope and growth and happiness that happens for you. Fifth house has to, it's ruled by Leo, the sign of Leo, and Leo is the sign that is happy, it plays, it wants to enjoy life, and it's the sign that is in the house that's represented by children, and that childlike quality and innocence of play, and how much we need to balance that with our work, especially with you, my Cancer friends, because you've been working your crabby tails off, I don't think crabs have tails, but whatever, you've been working it off, yours is gone anyway, so, now this year, it's going to initiate this 12-month cycle starting in October of rediscovering that joy, <laughs> rediscovering that inner child and what it is that makes you happy, making more space for this love and romance because that's also ruled in the fifth house. This is going to be a big year of change for that for you too and devoting yourself more to being able to explore that creative side of yourself. Just like children that color and play with Play-Doh and do those things, that's going to be you this year rediscovering these things that bring you happiness and bring you joy. You may find that your your real, your literal children may be growing and finding their own way and through their own self-creativity and their own self-expression, they're finding confidence in themselves because that's what Leo is. Leo is a sign of confidence and this year not only are you gaining that, but you're watching your own children gain that, uh, which ultimately brings you such a sense of joy and satisfaction. If you watch them flourish, it makes my stomach very happy thinking of that for you because uh, they mean so much to you. <laughs> I know that. So, uh, November 13th, Venus, that planet of love and money, is going to be aligning with Jupiter. Okay, and this is a good time to meet somebody new or reconnect with somebody, a romantic trip, meaningful event with your children. Something wonderful is going to happen in that time frame that's really going to bring you a sense of joy uh, in November there. Uh, da, 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 let's think. Okay, yes, definitely letting go some old fears, letting go some old fears, increasing your desire for uh, more spiritual things this year as well, focusing on the spiritual side of things a little bit more, uh, especially as Mars transits through Pisces at the beginning of this year, um, leading up to that eclipse that happens in February, at the end of February, really going to be stirring some memories of forgotten dreams. Um, because that also has to do with this happiness um, and forgotten and neglected fantasies that you've had. This is going to be a really good time as Mars tours that sign of Pisces, which is all about dreams, both sleeping dreams and physical waking dreams, uh, to really energize you again about what it is that it, you have dreamed to bring you happiness in this lifetime, whatever it is. You fill in the blanks, my cancer friends. You're intuitive. You know what you want. So bold new beginnings that help you bring meaning or a sense of purpose may arrive in that eclipse 
all right? You're going to start seeing little seedlings of it at the beginning of February, kind of telling you what it is that you want to dream about. These goals and dreams that you have in mind that you may have let lie dormant, they're going to start coming through again. Pay attention to them. Beginning part, especially around February 10th, because that's when that first eclipse hits. And then uh, you will find towards the end of that cycle, two weeks later at the 228 eclipse, that a lot of opportunities for these dreamy events may happen for you in that time frame. Dreamy experiences, travels, opportunities, whatever, you'll see them come through at the end of February. So now in terms of like friends and networking, um, there's going to be a lot happening as Mars goes through Taurus for you, my friends. Um, Taurus is a sign of stability and structure. It's an Earth sign. And as it tours through in March and April, you may be invited to join a new group or some sort of organization. Um, yes, that you may need to take some sort of a leadership role in. Okay. Uh, go with it. <laughs> go with it because the universe is asking you to do this. You've been working towards it anyway. And now Mars, the planet that pushes us and drives us, is really pushing you to put your foot in that ground, okay? Uh, and really make yourself known, especially June 6th through July 5th. Um, something's going to happen that helps remind you how much others value your input and how much they value your opinion. And now it's getting called into greater levels where they're going to need a little bit more. And you may be asked to lead an organization of some sort or group or something. I don't know, but it, you may, you will see that happening um, in that time frame. So not only do you have that happening, okay, and that where this opportunity comes through, but as Mars is going through Cancer just, just in that time frame of June 4th through July 20th as well, you are going to notice that your energy and confidence is going to be boosted as well because Mars hasn't been through your sign in almost three years. All right. And Mars is the initiator. It lights the fire under us. It gives us that confidence and ability to lead ourselves and others. So you'll find that if somebody's asking you to do it, you're going to have the energy to do it in that time frame as well. So unfortunately, it may make you a little bit more busier and work and family commitments may need to adapt to that so you can do it, but just do it. Do it. <laughs> okay, so now I've noticed how much I'm yapping here. Let's focus on specific birthdays here for my cancer friends for this upcoming year. Now, you may find that you in particular may resonate better with another one of these areas. Your birthday may not be in here. You have to understand that this is kind of a general overall for all cancers, okay? And you may see that it works. You see, may see that it's not quite it. You need to contact a professional astrologer like myself to look at your chart in particular to see where Jupiter is making these impacts or how the Sun and Neptune are working with you as I'll explain here. But as a general overall for my Cancer friends, if your birthday is from July 1st through the 6th, this year Neptune, that planet of dreams, is going to be working well with your Sun and the Sun is your essence. So your dreams are going to be coming to massive light and fruition this year. Not only your dreams, but you're going to be focused really highly on your spiritual side and letting go and surrendering old parts of yourself that just don't work anymore, okay? Especially outdated beliefs when it comes to your spirituality. And in that process, you find that creative side of yourself that really helps you to express yourself in levels that you haven't seen in a long time. So fully embrace that. If your birthday is July 9th through the 12th, Pluto is going to be opposing your sun. Remember, Pluto is that one that brings some transformations. It's known as the garbage truck of the universe, and it does. It likes to uh, rid us of things that we no longer need to clear the way to make space for new things. So it's in opposition to your essence as a sun. This is your transformation for you, okay? Um, this is where power and control issues and intimacy issues really come to the forefront for you this year. Um... You are going to be seeing, I have no idea what I wrote here, dominate as you realize you need to get to the bottom of usually hidden or secret aspects of your life. Yes, that's exactly it. You are going to find more confidence to dig to the deep depths of those areas of yourself that most of the time you ignore. I'm going to say that flat out, Cancer. Um, and you are ready to bring them out in the light of day 
and really start discussing them, okay? Because you want change, you want drastic change, and it's going to be coming through for you this year um, as that happens, okay? If your birthday is from July 12th to the 21st, Uranus is going to be squaring your sun. So not only do you have that energy of transformation that's going to be happening, like I just said, with Pluto squaring your sun or opposing your sun, kind of bringing forth all these issues about what it is that you really want to make those changes to bring the happiness. Uh, Uranus, the planet of unexpected things, is squaring your sun as well, too. So life breaks open and anything is possible. Anything is possible with Uranus, okay? And you want more personal space to explore your emerging individuality. And you expect the unexpected this year as chaos and change may fill this year for you because that's what Uranus does. And just know that these things are happening for a reason. Okay, don't look at them as fearful things or something to be afraid of because the universe is bringing it to you because you've worked for it and you deserve it. And just pay attention to these signs. So you may love where it takes you. Don't shut the door on the universe when it's trying to bring you something wonderful because you may miss an opportunity. And this opportunity is going to electrify your life because Uranus tends to do that. As it rules electricity, yes. So my Cancer friends, with this exceptionally long video I've done today, <laughs> let's do a reading for you for this upcoming year as well. Kind of pull these energies together and I won't talk for another 20 minutes, I swear. So let's see. We're going to start out letting you know that your Archangel, Haniel, is always working with you. She is the Angel of the Moon. She is the Angel of Cancer. She is an Angel of uh, Intuition and being able to nurture ourselves and others and to fully unconditionally love ourselves and others as well. So she's the Angel you're going to call on when you got some issues, wondering what you need to do and having block in your intuition and hearing the spiritual realms coming through. She's going to help you with that. So... She's always working with you, but let's see who else we have around here, okay? We'll pull the stone, see what other energies, angels are working with you for 2017 for the Cancer. Somewhere in here. Okay. Well, isn't that something? Because you have so much happening in Pisces, and we've got Archangel Sandalfin, and this guy has just been like, nine stop this year coming through. Angel that takes our prayers from Earth right up to Heaven, okay? And he's also the angel that comes through in song as well. So expect some answers to come through in those ways. If you're asking for guidance or to talk to a family member that's passed on, that you would say, what should I do in this situation? They will speak to you in music. You know, when you're in the car and that song comes on, you're like, oh my gosh, that's, they're talking to me. That's the angel that does that. But he's also the angel that hears our prayers and takes them to God and says, hey, Cancer down here wants to know about this. And then God says, okay, here you go. And then he brings that blessing down to you. So he also is working with you. He's the Cancer of Pisces. And we just talked a lot about Pisces this year, helping to really help you recognize your dream. So he's going to help you understand them, both sleeping and waking. Is it dreams that you have to make changes happen and ultimately bring you happiness? Because Cancer, this is the year of renewed happiness for you. It's like you haven't seen in almost 15 years. So here we go. I am going to shuffle this eight times because that's the number I see in my mind's eye. So my cancer friends, what Sandalfin wants us to know. Daniel wants you to know. I have so completely lost track. I'm gonna say that's five. Six, seven, and Ooh, my, you are a busy buster this year. Mmm, they are letting you know right away. This is the busiest of all the cards. Fire suit and the wands and tarot represent work. Work, work, work. Passion. Energy. And the ten of it is indicating that, man, you are going to be working your tail off this year. Okay, ask for help where you can. Um, and notice that your life may feel out of balance as a result of that. Okay. This is a card indicating that you do need to reach out to others. Pay attention to how much you're working in that balance between work and life uh, because things may get out of whack and cause you some health problems. All right. But this also can indicate a lot of changes, too. I see this for some of my cancer friends indicating an end of a phase in a career. Okay, cause this is a career-type card, and tens represent endings. And we know that there's so much happening in your 10th house of career this year where you may get recognized 
uh, things need to change, so I may see some form of evolution happen, whether it's work or your public life or how the world sees you or your reputation. Expect some sort of change and ending to occur because of that, um, helping you kind of move into that next phase of work because ultimately endings lead to new beginnings. So that's what this card says. So my Cancer friends, enjoy this wonderful 2017 and uh, know the angels are always working with you. Thank you. Bye.